everyone, this is Warwick back with another showcase of one of my custom action figures. This time it is Onslaught in Marvel Legends style. I made a custom of Onslaught back in the summer of 2009 I think it was. I don't have that one anymore but I loved it so much that I really wanted one for myself and I spent the time since on and off trying to recreate it and make some improvements. So here he is. He's made from a uh, Marvel Legends Icons Venom, so he's over 12 inches tall, I don't know the exact height, and he has lots of sculpted armour parts, etc. So, um, as you can see, his shoulder pads are making him a little bit bigger than Venom, uh, that's why he's so far away from the camera at the moment. I'll bring him along in a minute so we can get a closer look. But just to get an idea of the scale, here's a Marvel Legends Captain America. And Onslaught tried to kill him there. So as you can see, I've recreated that animosity between the two. Uh, so yeah, he towers over the standard Marvel Legends. And he's the same size as one of the older build figures. Most of his armour is sculpted. Um, particularly his lower legs. And uh, some of the smaller armour details. The larger armour details are fodder parts. Uh, shoulder pads from other figures, sp legs from spider mechanical Spider-Man toys or something, I don't really know what they were. Uh, yep, and his large shoulder pads, the previous version I made had very rigid shoulder pads. Uh, these ones are slightly softer, there's some give to them, so they don't uh, get damaged so much when posing. His posability, he retains almost all of his posability from the, the Icons figure. He has all his wrist pivots and double jointed elbows, knees, etc. I won't try and upset his balance too much at the moment for this video. Uh, his head moves and his ab crunch. It's restricted a little by his armour but not too much. He's not going to be getting into any kung fu poses anyway. Uh, so I'll just give you a quick spin of him. This is his front. I did move my hand. The back, I'll talk about the back more soon. Uh, again, it's a, it started off as the shell from the Build-A-Figure Marvel Legends Onslaught, but I've expanded it and modded it, added these spines, etc. And his other side, much the same as the other one. And finally back to his front. But. I'll give you a close-up of some of the features that he has. So here we have a closer view of Onslaught. For the paint job, I didn't want just the bright red. There's um, a lot of dark red worked into it. You can see that particularly around his mask, where I've had it almost black, uh, coming from to make his eyes kind of stand out more, and going down to red along the extremities of the armor. The the purple pieces are given a dry brush with a lighter pink, trying to give it a sort of, I don't know, sort of insect-like, sort of mottled effect. Um, but anyway, what I've got here is a, there's a secret feature to him, um, which was in my previous version of Onslaught, um, but I've recreated it here. It's The chest cavity is hollowed out, and I've added hinges that open up and reveal Charles Xavier trapped inside Onslaught. My camera can't focus in too well on things at that size. Yeah. He does have some articulation um, in the neck and in his wrist. It's a little difficult to get to. I can't get my camera settled again. Um, yeah, it's a little difficult to get to. The hand's easier to move. So you can wave hi. Um, the head of Professor Xavier is from a Marvel Legends long shot figure. Uh, fellow customizer Glenn Webb made a custom of an astral projection of Xavier. That used the long shot head and I thought it really worked. The nose in particular was really suiting for Xavier so I've, I've re-sculpted his expression to be distressed because he's obviously not happy about being in there. Um, so yeah, that's the secret reveal um, of the secret identity of Onslaught is in there. Uh, 
the hinges here, they have magnets so they do snap shut and will hold shut during posing. There we are. There's also something that wasn't in my last uh, custom was I have here some black tendrils I suppose black ooze whatever so these will just uh, they just I say just watch this as they now refuse to fit in they slot in to his chest cavity uh, let me see where this one will go down there so they're good in that they keep the chest cavity open um, if you want to just have them standing on the shelf with it open um, they're also as I said bendable right I'm going to fast forward this bit because I don't think you want to watch me stick these in so yeah that's them all slotted in um, they're not held in magnetically or anything they just fit into the cavities in his body um, and they're held quite well in place um, so they can be used for posing, but the real reason that I um, decided to use these move on, slot back, was because I created a custom figure of Franklin Richards. Uh, he is made from a Lord of the Rings golem figure, so he's quite poseable. He's one of the poseable kind. I think he was a wall climbing golem or something. Um, so he's got a lot of articulation there. Obviously he's all sculpted over, given a um, fantastic force shirt. His hands are from a Street Fighter, I think it's Rainbow Mika figure. Because uh, they were just quite petite and childlike. His shoes are from Street Fighter Sakura. So they're quite poseable as well, so he can hold lots of poses. And I had to shorten the Golem body quite a lot, uh, so he didn't look so grotesque basically and his head is from X-23 uh, Marvel Legends X-23 uh, I don't know which one is it is. is it the purple one, is it the black one not sure, and I sculpted his hair, changed his expression so he doesn't look too happy um, about being kidnapped by Onslaught basically um, so yeah, what the black tendrils are basically to hold Franklin. Uh, they, as they're bendable, they can wrap round his limbs and hold him. Yeah, we've got Franklin there, um, kidnapped by Onslaught. Hours of fun for kids. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's basically, I wanted to you know, take the custom of Onslaught a little further, so I threw in Franklin Richards and these um, tendrils. So, let me just take them out. But easier to come out than go in, of course. And close up by Charlie. There we are. So, um, that's the front of Onslaught, the secret reveal. He has also a secret round the back with his shell. The previous Onslaught, um, the previous Onslaught, the Toy Biz Onslaught figure, uh, the five inch one had a reveal in his shell of a small window to Charles Xavier. Um, so, kind of in the spirit of that, I've created this. So his shell opens in a sort of wing-like fashion, with the black who's again present, and captured in his shell is Nate Gray, the X-Man. Uh, let me see. Nate is held in there by this 
black ooze over his mouth restraining him uh, and that's magnetic so can be removed there we are and Nate is fully removable and he's a complete figure in his, on his own um, I really loved X-Man for some unknown reason uh, I thought his comics were fun and he didn't have all the I don't know well I didn't have Rogue in them so basically I was quite a fan uh, so there we have that's X-Man now I decided to because he's a separate figure I've got him with quite a I don't know, battle ready face again from Marvel Legends long shot. So he's got the same face as Charles Xavier, but I think they're quite different in expression. So yeah. Um so because I wanted this kind of fighting face for him as an individual figure, it kind of posed a problem when he came to be captured by Onslaught or held in this figure as he doesn't he just looks nonplussed about it. So that's why I've used this um, magnetic black goo here. It hides his lower face so you can only see his eyes. So I think it kind of, while it's a bit ambiguous, I think it, it works quite well in that you can, you know, you can see that he's uh, not the happiest about it. I mean, his face is covered. Um, so yeah. There we have, that's the secret reveal. Again, these are held shut by magnets, so they don't pop open too much during play. Uh, not these being played with. Okay. So that's Onslaught with the secret reveal of Charles Xavier, Nate Grey, and his little Franklin Richards accessory. Hand Franklin, change that. There we go. Um, so that's him. That's my Marvel Legends onslaught figure. Um, I think he turned out quite well, and I hope you guys like him. Thanks for watching.